It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. All that and more coming up next. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Caesar Superdome here in New Orleans. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. through contact and all in all a pretty solid return nearly got it to the 35 they'll mark him down officially at the 34 so here are the Panthers now for their opening drive and they will be led out by their rookie quarterback for every rookie prospect there are always nerves involved in this moment running your team out to start a game but there's a reason they brought him in we're willing to make him their starter today they believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Young wasting no time right to the air. Buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Now a second down throw for Young. And the catch made by Johnson. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. A first carry for the Canadian-born Chuba Hubbard. And he's fortunate to get anything from that, give him a yard up to the 49. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. They go play action. Young. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat what the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 37, they work on second and six. Now Young. Got his man, it's Jonathan Mingo. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. If he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. The young throw complete there to Mingo. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Hubbard fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Hubbard again. And he takes it into the end zone for the Panthers' touchdown. Chuba Hubbard taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. But a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, right at the 30. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And this will line up a Saints first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is. But I think first down is equally important because everything comes off of that play. If the defense wins the down, they are able to attack. If the offense wins the down, they might go faster, do other things, and change things up. That big play right there allows this offense to really get in gear. Jet sweep. Here's a lot of and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now a second and ten. Here's Carr. And this one is incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Now 
They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now Carr. And that is incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. So on fourth down, on is Lou Headley to punt for New Orleans. And now a low liner. I think he missed hit him. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds. So they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. I have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. Now second and three. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll walk it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On first and 10, Young. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Finding Taysom Hill complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That's certainly one way to beat the blitz. Get it out of your hands quickly and get it to the big fella. Very effective. Saw the pressure, got rid of it, and the completion ensued. This second and four. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe try to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, Still that means down. the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And a good-looking run there as he'll take his inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 
Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Stuck for a loss by the linebacker, Josie Jewell. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the off. And he's got it. Touchdown. Saints from 21 yards away. And the Saints are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some replay communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL they not know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Groupie able to add the PAT, and we are tied at seven. to the 25. Possession of the football goes over to Carolina. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown, so 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. Start this drive out on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. And some space here. And how about the burst here to begin the drive? Another big gain on the ground. This one good for 17 more. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. They'll try to throw down. Young. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Young looks to throw on first down. And that one too wide and incomplete. Nice progress down the field is halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Carolina. Ian 
Thomas, 36 yards, and the Panthers have taken the lead. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series that helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's to the right sideline and it falls incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Carl try it again on second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown, but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Carr. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're gonna try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Young will set to throw. That's caught by Mingo right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second down, Young. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Here's Young from the shotgun. He gets this one to Hubbard complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Young. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, sit, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 81 yards on the ground for Hubbard is that last run of first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll run here with Hubbard. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Panther football to start quarter number two as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Looking to throw, Young. Forced out to his left. Oh, look at the juke. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll run for it. It's Hubbard. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. 
Here's a second and five. They run it again with Camaro. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. But, pardon if the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Throwing on first down is Carr. Carr, it's Wilson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So from the 22, here's second and two. They'll pound it up the middle with Camara. And down he'll go at the 25. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw, it's Carr. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Throwing his car on third down, and this is going to be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 30. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Here comes Chuba Hubbard. Let's take a closer look at him. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 83 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. Right back to Hubbard. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll come up facing third and five. To throw, Young. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. 
as an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A give up the middle. Hubbard trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Young to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Young. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's brought down. It's a ten-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Hubbard will take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Carr going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10, at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. 
And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Carr again here on second and ten. His throw incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw his car. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And that will bounce out of bounds before they can get a return going. Here comes Chuba Hubbard. Let's take a closer look at him. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good return for the guy. You know where I'm fantasy. going. Fantasy. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't. I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. Stop I it. enjoy watching you You're an you analyst. Do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ for my Foul. Face man. Defense. Now they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. But well, not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second down, Young. And his throw is incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. From the shotgun, it's Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Deontay Johnson from 21 yards away. And the Panthers have moved out in front by three touchdowns. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. He knocks it through, it's 28-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Saints coming out now to take the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10.
Throwing now is Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw here. Tries the left side and finds Alave. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. On play action, it's Carr. Got an open man, it's Alave. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now a second and six. A tenth carry for Kamara. Shreds the tackle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 54 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That play could never get started thanks to the defensive effort of Shaq Thompson. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now they'll throw with Carr. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. That caught by Tremble. So the completion gets him just a yard. Third and seven now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The offense on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Young to throw it. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. 
Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense set to take over. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Now Carr. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here's Kamara off the draw. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? Carr now on first down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of them, it's low and incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings them up second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Alave over the middle. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Brings up third and three. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. But things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Panthers are going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Young on first down. He gets this one to Hubbard complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Six. 
second down and four. Out of the gun, it's Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. Four yards the pick up, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Final play of the half, Young. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime. This was